Hi guys and welcome back to today's workout. Today we've got 10 minutes of movement. We are going to be working into our core today and we have no repeats. So we have 10 exercises and we are going to do one round. So we're going to make sure we give every exercise everything we have got. So all you need today is your exercise mat and some water. As always, I will demonstrate each exercise we do first. So here is a bird dog crunching in at the bottom. We're going to alternate between each side. We're gonna work 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. This is the demonstration. All right, we are going to get ourselves ready and let's go, 40 seconds of work here. So crunching in, reaching out. As you crunch in, breathe out and reach those arms all the way out. Take your time with this one, working into the core. You may also feel this one in the glutes. Little bonus for you there. Good, 20 seconds down, we've got 20 seconds left. Crunching in, reaching out. Make sure you breathe out as you crunch the elbow into that knee. Good, lovely. Last 10 seconds. Last few reps on each side. Good work team, keep that going. And relax, good, next exercise. We're going to come down onto our backs. So we're going to go into some heel taps. So feet are flat on the floor. We're gonna tuck the pelvis under, squeeze the core, reaching all the way around. If you can reach your hand all the way down that foot, even better. Again, we're going to be working 40 seconds. We're gonna get ready. Good, lift up off the floor, reach all the way around, squeeze that core. We're going to keep the head and shoulders off the floor here for the whole 40 seconds seconds good reaching all the way round squeezing that core don't stop squeezing that core keep breathing nice deep breaths we're nearly there good really good keep going lovely stuff good keep breathing Squeeze that core. Good work. And relax. All right, good work. Next exercise we do is going to be a dead bug. So hands up, feet up, 90 degree bend between the legs, tucking that pelvis under, closing that gap between the lower back and the floor. We are going to get ourselves ready. Good, and let's go. 40 seconds of work here extending the leg down as the opposite arm comes down to the floor, hovering just above the floor. Guys, with this one, it's so important that we keep that lower back touching the floor. So tuck that pelvis under, squeeze the core, and reach all the way out. Good, don't stop breathing. Make sure you're taking some nice deep breaths. Breathe out as we bring the leg and arm down to the floor. Good, really good. We've got 10 more seconds, nearly there. Good work, nice slow and controlled movements. Lovely, good, and relax. Good, 20 seconds rest. Our next exercise, we're going to come up into a seated position. We are going to go into an abdominal twist. So heels planted into the floor, or you can lift the heels up. It depends how hard you want to work yourself. So harder option is feet up. Easier option is heels down into the floor. We're going to rotate side to side, sit back, engage that core, and let's rotate. Good, lovely. Here again for 40 seconds. If you have any lower back pain with this one, then put those feet down, plant those heels into the floor. Otherwise, feet off the floor, nice big rotations. Touch down each side, and remember to keep breathing. 20 seconds down, we've got 20 seconds to go. Hang on in there with me, team. Good, really good. Remember, if you start to feel tired, you have the option to drop those heels down to the floor. Good, we've got 10 seconds to go. Nearly there, keep breathing, last five. Lovely work, good, and relax. Next exercise, we are going to come down, and we have got bicycle crunches. So opposite elbow to opposite knee, extending that bottom leg all the way down to the floor. There is the demonstration, we are gonna get ready in the next five seconds, head and shoulders up, let's get ourselves ready. Good, and let's go. So opposite elbow to opposite knee, extending the bottom leg all the way down to the floor. With this one, keep those fingertips on the side of the head. Try not to pull on the back of your head. Try and connect that elbow to the knee if you can, and remember to squeeze the core. Lovely, really good. Keep breathing. 
good, 20 seconds down, we've got 20 seconds left. Nice and slow, keep this one slow and controlled, there's absolutely no rush at all. Good, really good. Last couple of reps, lovely. Good, lovely, and relax. Well done team. Good work. All right, next exercise. We are going to just sit up here. So we're just crunching the core here as a demonstration. We'll get ready in 10 seconds. We're going to squeeze that core, tucking the pelvis under. We'll get ready, hands on the side of your head and let's go crunching in. You should really feel that core working. We're only here for 40 seconds, it's not long. Good, breathe out as you crunch in. Good. Keep those feet flat on the floor. Fingertips lightly on the side of your head. Again, don't pull on that neck. We're just crunching in. You should really feel it in the core. Really squeeze that core on every rep we do. Squeeze that core as you breathe out and crunch in. Good, we've got 10 seconds left. Really good, nice. Last couple of reps. Good, and relax. All right, great work team. 20 seconds rest. Our next exercise, we are going to come down into a plank. So feet a mat distance apart. We're going to tuck that pelvis under, squeeze the core, keeping the head in line with the spine, going down onto our forearms. We are going to get ready. And let's go. So tuck that pelvis under, squeeze the core. Elbows are directly below the shoulders. Head is in line with the spine and our feet are roughly mat distance apart. Keep squeezing that core and breathe. Take some nice deep breaths here. Don't forget to breathe. Good, 20 seconds down. We've got 20 more seconds to go. Keep pushing those heels back, keeping the legs nice and straight, back nice and flat. Squeeze that core. Good, we've only got five seconds left. Stay with me right to the end if you can. Good work and relax. Good, we've got three exercises left. Our next exercise, we have got shoulder taps, so high plank position. Again, feet and mat distance apart, hands are directly below the shoulders, and we are just going to tap each shoulder, keeping those hips as still as possible. Let's get ourselves ready into the high plank position, tuck the pelvis under, squeeze the core, tapping each shoulder. Good, keeping that head in line with the spine. Really good work. Good, nice and slow with this one. If you feel your hips are wobbling around and moving around, open up your legs a little bit wider, just for a bit more balance and really focus on squeezing that core. By squeezing the core, our hips should stay still. Good, we've got 10 seconds left. Stay with me right to the end. Great work, good, last five seconds. Nearly there. Good. And relax. Good work, team. All right, we've got two more exercises left. We're going to go into plank hip dip. So we're going to plank just as we did earlier, but this time we're going to drop our hips side to side, squeezing that core. We're working right into our obliques here. We are going to get ourselves ready onto your forearms, elbows below the shoulders, into that plank position. Get yourself comfortable and then drop those hips down side to side. Good, really good. If this is too difficult for anyone, then of course you can just hold a plank instead here. Good, take your time, dropping those hips down side to side. Try and keep that head in line with the spine. Good, 20 seconds down, we've got 20 more seconds to go. Lovely, so close to the end. Stay with me, good, we've got 10 more seconds. Great work, dropping those hips down side to side, last few reps on each side. And we're going to move on to our final exercise. Good, and relax, drop those knees down. We're going to rest for 20 seconds and we have got our toe taps next. So we're going to come into a high plank position, tucking that pelvis under and we're just tapping the toes out side to side, walking those feet out side to side. So there's the demonstration. We're going to get ourselves ready in three seconds. Good, into that high plank position, tuck the pelvis under, squeeze the core, head in line with the spine, stepping our feet out side to side. This is our last core exercise. Let's try and work right to the end. Really good. If you've got more than 10 minutes to spare, you could do this again if you wanted to repeat it. 
Give yourself a longer workout. Good, we're over halfway. Well done, team. Good, and last 10 seconds. A few more toe taps to go. My core is feeling really tired right now. I'm gonna push right through to the end. Last couple of reps. Good work, team. Well done today. I hope you enjoyed that core session. Like I said, if you've got time, then please feel free to repeat it or jump onto one of my other 10 minute workouts. If you liked it, please subscribe and like it and look out for the next exercise. Bye.